Hi, this is Jessica Bowman with SEOinhouse.com. We have veteran in-house SEO, John Cole. Now, John comes from um, AT&T is where I, I met him. He was the in-house SEO there, but he just recently started at NFL. So he, he brings a ton of experience to the table and a lot of interesting things that I don't see many in-house SEOs doing. So I'm really excited for what he can share. So my first question for you, John, is, what mistakes do most in-house SEOs make? I mean, we've seen even the veterans, people who've been doing this for three to five years, what do they consistently make? Um, well, let me break that out into two kind of parts. First would be the question, the mistakes I see a lot of SEOs make, and then uh, I'll talk about mistakes I think us veterans tend to make. Uh, the first thing, or the main problem I think, I think that a lot of SEOs run into, especially in-house, is there's so many opportunities and so many things that we can go after that uh, sometimes we spread ourselves too thin. You know, we get distracted because so many things need to be changed and get and be done that we end up not making massive progress on the few things that really need to be focused on. So, you know, if anything, I would say one of the things that SEOs can do, especially in-house SEOs, is narrow down to a few key projects that are aligned with your business goals. So what I mean by that is specifically projects that increase either the revenue for the company or the profit for the company, or if it's a startup and they're not yet producing revenue, then whatever's gonna, whatever action is going to lead to that revenue. So if that action might be new users signed up on the site, then align your SEO projects with those that uh, have the maximum ROI in that particular area, signing up new users or selling products. And if, if anything, I would say if they did nothing more than focus on the few key projects that are going to maximize that business value, they'll get a lot more... Um, a lot more value they're delivering to the company, let's say at the end of their first year, than if they try to tackle 100 SEO projects versus focusing on the five that are really going to deliver. Yeah. Um, the second part to that was you asked, what kind of mistakes do I see veteran SEOs making? You know, one of the mistakes, and I actually didn't realize this just until a couple months ago, um, I went to a conference. I go to a lot of conferences in terms of improving my skills and improving uh, my abilities. And one of the things that they mentioned at the beginning of the conference was, there's three words, there's this phrase, and it's one of the most dangerous phrases in the English language. And the words are, I know that. And what happened was I realized that I've been going to, you know, I've been doing SEO for so long that I'd started to assume, you know, I know everything about that. I'd go to a conference, I'd see other speakers, they'd be talking about something, and I'd tune out and go into my email because I'm like, ah, oh, you know, I already know what he's talking about. And what happened was I wasn't actually, first of all, I closed myself off to learning things that maybe I didn't know. But even if I sat there and listened to someone who's talking about something that I already know, um, once I humbled myself and realized, you know what, first of all, I don't know it all. And if I allow myself to recognize I don't know everything, and I listen to people, even though I think uh, they, may are, they may be saying what I already know, if, I'm, if I open myself and really focus and listen to that, even if what they're telling me, I do already know all those facts, just by focusing and listening to what they're saying, I find myself having these ideas and these connections on how things can work together maybe in a new or different way that I hadn't thought about before. So I get these kind of inspirations and distinctions about the same material, but from being able to look at it in a way I hadn't, just by being present to what they were saying. So if anything, I'd say the mistake I've made as a veteran is falling in the trap of sometimes assuming I know something already and not really listening to what someone's saying and simply you know, being humble and saying, you know what, I'm going to listen to this guy. He may have less years than me or maybe less experience, but who knows what I can learn from just opening up to that. That's a very, um, very big thing for you to have caught onto. Very few people do this. Um, as somebody who's been in the business for about 10 years, I hear that a lot from my peers, people who started around the time I do. Mm -hmm. They come to the conference, but they don't actually listen or they skip a lot of sessions. And I always wonder, who are these people who think that they can't learn anything because I learn something the whole time I'm there? Mm -hmm. I am constantly, to your point, thinking of ideas. I'm actually hearing things and saying, you know what? I knew that, but that's not in our process. Let me make sure that I put a note to add that to our process. And so I'm doing that, and I actually find the SEOs who feel they know it all, um, that say, I know that, I don't need to listen, um, are actually the ones that have the biggest knowledge gap. So I don't think that's mm. the case for you, but a generalization of what I see um, at a lot of, uh, a lot of times I interact with the in-house SEOs, I, I see the same thing. and. Um, I think it's, you're the first person I've ever seen who actually recognized that, so uh, that's really good.